this is our very first day in this historic urban playground and we are going to travel to all ends of the city so we can give you our very first impression of Manila. Oh. Hello. 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 I have spotted a wild study in the distance. Oh. <laughs> We are right around the corner from the famous Greenbelt Mall and we are heading towards uh, Legacy Weekend Market which opens every Sunday around 7.30am. We're going to jump in there and start off our day with exploring some of the market food and souvenirs. I honestly have no idea what to expect. There seems to be every type of cuisine at this market. We've got, uh, what have we got, like Middle Eastern, we've got Spanish, we've got Filipino food, we've got crepes, pies, buns. It seems like the, the options here are pretty endless and are kind of made for any type of palette. One thing we've learned is that the Filipinos love their bakeries and doesn't this look absolutely amazing? I could not say no. It's so, so heavy, it's got a bit of weight to it. That's so yum. Pig lung and heart. Looks delicious for this thing. Oh yeah. Oh that's good. Very like, very tomato -y. Mm. Oh. Hayley spotted a Vietnamese street food behind us and we're just getting a little chicken curry cow I think it was called. Just a little puff pastry, 40 peso. Hopefully it's nice and tasty. So we've got here like an empanada I think it is with egg and veggies. And this is 80 peso. We've got this egg on top. Massive veggie samosa with a big egg in the middle. It is really good. So this is a chicken curry pow. It is piping hot. I've even left it to sit for like 5 to 10 minutes and it's still very hot. Mm. It's really yum. It's delicious. Surprise of the day. We've had some food, we've had a look around at this epic market, so I think we're going to head out now and maybe explore some more historical Filipino sites that we haven't done yet since we've been here in the Philippines. That is the weirdest start. <laughs> well, okay, how are you? Alright. <laughs> We're not really the biggest history buffs, but we thought we might as well try give it a go. So we have made our way here to Fort Santiago. It is a reminder of the very complicated ownership history of Philippines. Right, 75 peso um, each for two of us to get in. Hi! Hello! 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 Hello. 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 Lots of friendly like school students around on the tour buses. One thing I did not expect was how many local Filipinos are here. Obviously visiting here, they look like they're in like big groups, whether it's through school. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> Bizarre things sometimes happen and we have now ended up doing some portraits for a, a couple of Filipino that are here studying. And you can see Haley's in the background getting her photos done. And we've got one photographer there, another one there. <laughs> Which is happening now, they need some portraits and they asked us to be part of their the, an assignment. What's yeah. the yeah, part of their assignment? So we thought why not? Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> We've really enjoyed walking around Fort Santiago. A lot busier than we thought, but it's really nice to get a little bit of the history of the Philippines. I <laughs> Mission accomplished. We have arrived at Food Wanderer 
which is I think some sort of um, Filipino museum interactive arts and culture mashup all into one. Wow, look at this thing. Looks interesting, let's take a look. I don't know if my old bum is ready for this. This looks frightening. Ah! <laughs> oh, this is <might> tasty. <laughs> Very bumpy as well. And this is the view we greeted with. Really kind of bizarre, interactive pieces here. We've got some mounds. We've got, this is all just like a kind of a, like an educational, interactive art piece that you can spend up to two hours in. We have been dragged to some sort of show. No idea what it's happening, but let's go find out. Inside this museum, there is also an option to have a cooking class lesson. So I nominate Scotty and we're gonna join in on that. So can you tell us what you're going to be making? Easy steps to a delicious yummy something something which is a dessert if I'm <coughs> correct. Tip that in, coconut. So, ooh, so yellow. Nori is taking us to a secret room. Maybe she's gonna lock us up. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, whoa, what the? call this the mediation. Turn off the light, okay. Whoa. Yeah, we have three options because the other one is well. Did you drink it all? No. <laughs> <laughs> so that's strawberry. Yeah, it does taste strong. Good. Yeah. Is it like a sh <laughs> So coconut wine. It tastes more like coconut vodka. <laughs> <laughs> oh my it just smells like gasoline. <laughs> Who drinks this for fun? Oh. <laughs> That's strong. Woo! Oh, ready to party. <laughs> After a short taxi ride, we have ventured over to SM by the Bay, which is opposite the Mall of Asia on the waterfront, and we are going to jump on this big, humongous eye, which is like a big Ferris wheel. There's a lot of cosplay. I think there's a cosplay convention on at the moment. There is. I tell you, if we spot someone cosplayed as Inuyasha or a character from Inuyasha, I am getting a photo. <laughs> we are at the tippity top of the eye at Ferris wheel. Nice and slow, romantic. It is so packed down there. It's crazy. I think there's a couple conventions on. So it looks like there are thousands upon thousands of where are we down there? People. All yeah. They're not the most amazing rides, but it's just a really cool vibe here. They've got food stores. I mean today is bustling with live. And yeah, enjoy yourself. Try a few of the rides if you dare. Scotty is trying to win me a prize, it's called Hook a Duck. He gets five ducks and they all have numbers on the bottom, so fingers crossed he can win me something nice. Oh, that's our duck number one. Further in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five plus five, ten points. Ten plus two points. Full, full. 14 points and then 
Uh, you have a 19 points. Okay. We have a so what is medium it? price. Oh, we have okay. medium price. Oh, we medium have... price. What do you want? And we, we have uh, pink colors. Then yeah. blue. Pink? Can you say pink? pink. Yeah, pink. pink. It's cute. Okay, yeah. we go! That's <laughs> your price! Hello, we're fun and games down here. I think we really want to go check out a mall which is next to us. This is the SM Mall of Asia, and this is actually, I think, the fourth largest mall in all of the Philippines. So that means we must check out this mall. So we'll go in there and go for a dive into this wonderful world of shopping malls here in Manila. I feel like half of Manila has come to the mall today. I don't know if this is normal or if it's just because there's a bunch of conventions on, but it is so, 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 so packed. There is people left, right and centre. Definitely the busiest mall we've been in. We just walked past this place called Lecton Area and of course they sell Lecton. We haven't really tried it yet, yet in the Philippines so we thought if we're hungry, let's try some. Pork Valley Sizzig has arrived, top with some goodies. Let's get this. This looks really good. Let's go. Oh, so soft, tender. Oh my god. It just melts in your mouth. That is one delicious meal. Look. Now, this is what I call fusion a uh, Lisa Nacho. <laughs> in the Philippines and it has over 700 stores so it's pretty massive. There is something to suit everyone and places like Bangkok we found the shopping to be either really cheap or really expensive. Not too much of a middle market but here there is a massive middle market. There are shops for all budgets and ages. We're just about to leave and we've walked down and we've just stumbled across this array of Restaurant, it's like an it's like outdoor, pretty lights, and a bunch of like I don't know 15 20 restaurants all around here. Oh my goodness, and a department store oh, on the, the other side of the road. This place is so massive and it keeps on surprising us. <laughs> We've freshened up, got some new clothes on, and we are going to try find a place around here in Makati that has a really nice view over the cityscape i think there's a few within walking distance so we'll try one that's closest called i think it's called antidote slight change of plan at the last place that didn't allow our camera we were quickly escorted away <laughs> and now we're at going to mistral which is a rooftop bar at located inside a very fancy yeah. hotel yeah called raffles next to fairmont very very fancy. This place is so so nice. I don't know why it doesn't have much higher reviews. It's absolutely amazing here. This outdoor area and the staff are incredible. Like come here. We've spoiled ourselves with two fancy looking cocktails. I got a swizzy swizzly fruity thing um, and Haley got like a berry berry spritz. Really nice cocktails to enjoy with an even better view. So that brings to end our massive action packed day here in Manila and boy oh boy did we love it here. It is such a lively city, the people have been so so nice and there's so much to do which you've seen, we've already done quite a bit today and there's still so so much more that we haven't even covered. So if you enjoyed this first impressions video, make sure you catch these other videos on screen where we experience different provinces here in the Philippines. So don't sleep on that subscribe button, hit that bell. And say hi to us in the next video. <laughs>